I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find vertex for a quadratic function when the equation is given in different forms. You know a quadratic equation could be given in three different forms. One of them is called the standard form which is y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. We could have the factored form which is y equals to a times x minus x1 uh, times x minus x2 or we could have vertex form which is y equals to a times x minus p whole square plus q. So these are three different forms. To find vertex that is the best form right. So so this is the vertex form let me write here. So we'll begin from the right side vertex form. So in vertex form you can straight away read the vertex and the vertex will be pq. So that is the vertex for you simple. So if I take a few examples here, let's say we have uh, y equals to 2x minus 3 whole square minus 1, vertex will be 3n minus 1. And if I have y equals to minus 3x square plus 3, the vertex will be here it is minus 0, right? So the vertex would be 0 and plus 3, okay? And if I have y equals to, uh, let us say, 5x minus 2 whole square. Now there is this number 0 for q. So the vertex here will be 2, 0, right? So you could write vertex very easily, reading straight from the given equation. Is it okay? Now let's take the, the factored form. Now in factored form, what happens is we have to look for, vertex is always on axis of symmetry. So we have to look for axis of symmetry. So axis of symmetry is right in the center. So it is x value is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So the x value is actually on this. So here we have to do it in two steps. First find the x value and then substitute and get your answer, right? So that is kind of very important. Let's say this value is x0. Then the y value of this vertex will be substitute this here a times x0 minus x1 times x0 minus x2, right, to get the y value. So we say the vertex is x0, y0. Is it okay? So that is how you find it. Let me take an example. If I have y equals to x plus 2 times x minus 4, in that case, x's will be right in the center. This will be 0 for minus 2. This will be 0 for plus 2. Remember that. Divide by 2. So that gives you 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now you substitute 1 here. So y will be equals to 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 4, which is 3 times 3 or minus 9. So the vertex here is equal to x is 1, y is minus 9. Right? So I hope that is absolutely clear, right? At times when both the roots are at the same point, this equation becomes kind of like this, right? So, so it could be like this, okay? So let me take one more example for you to practice. We could have uh, x plus 3 times, it could be anything here, it doesn't really matter, right? So let me write 2 here or half here, it doesn't matter, right? So we say x plus, uh, this is 7, right? Now, this is a practice question. You can pause the video, answer the question. Find the axis of symmetry. It is at minus 3, minus 7 over 2, which gives you minus 5. Substitute minus 5 here to find y, which is half times minus 5 plus 3, times minus 5 plus 7. And that is, this is minus 2, right? So let me do one more step here. So this is minus 2 times, that is plus 2. And this cancels, you get minus 2 as your answer. And the vertex in this case is x value is minus 5, y is minus 2. You get it, right? So that's how you do it to get the vertex from the factored form. Right. Now let's let, look into the standard form. So this is standard form. How do you find vertex here? Well, the idea is you could do completing the squares. That's a long way to go. But the other point is you could find the x value of the vertex. Let me call 0 as minus b by 2a, right? And then substitute this value to find y value. So let's take a few examples here. 
uh, we could have y equals to 2x squared minus 3x uh, plus 4, let us say, right? Doesn't really matter. So x value will be equals to minus b, means minus of minus 3, let me write here, times 2 times a, which is 2 times 2. And so what we get here is 3 over 4. Now that's too complicated to find out. But anyway, what you could do is you could find y value as 2 times uh, 3 over 4 whole square minus 3 times 3 over 4 plus plus 4, right? Use the calculator, right? What for the calculator is, right? So we do 2 times within bracket 3 divided by 4 bracket close square minus 3 times within brackets 3 divided by 4 and then we have plus 4 equals to 23 over 8. You could write in decimals also. So we have actually let me write 23 over 8. So the vertex will be at 3 over 4, 23 over 8. Do you get an idea? So that is how you find the vertex when given in standard form. Is it okay? Uh, well, for you, a practice question, y equals to minus, let's say half, right? Uh, x square plus 2x minus 1. Simple, right? So try this out. Get your <coughs> vertex from this particular equation. Find the x value using the formula minus b by 2a. Substitute here and then calculate y. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope in short this tells you how to find vertex when a quadratic function's equation is given in any form. Now this is a very very important step at it as it helps to do a couple of things. One of them is describe transformations, right? Transformations. And then also in graphing. So if you have to describe transformations, you need equation vertex form. So finding vertex is kind of very critical. Uh, it is, I hope, a good exercise. Thank you and all the best. And if you like, you can put some likes and don't forget to share your questions. Thank you and all the best.